Golden Arrows Bus Services has stepped in to assist taxi commuters who have been stranded due to the feud between the Qatar and Codeta Taxi Associations. Ronald Masinda spoke to Golden Arrows Bus Services spokesperson Brownwin Dyke Bayer. So we're running at full steam ahead. We've got 1,100 buses on the road. We're running after peak to ensure that all passengers are cleared. And in the evenings, we've even been given permission to run after curfew if necessary to make sure that people get home. Are buses safe though? Because many people have been fearing getting on the bus. We've also been hearing of people being threatened by uh, so-called uh, taxi operators who are saying that they are against buses operating. I think last week was really a big eye-opener for the authorities and they realized that they needed to come to the party. So we haven't had any issues uh, probably in the last five or six days, uh, but we have had uh, law enforcement along all our routes, escorts in the evenings. So I think that visibility from the authorities has made all the difference. All right. Earlier I was also in Mitchell's Plain where people there, the taxi operators, were telling us that uh, a bus driver was killed in, uh, in Mitchell's Plain. You are telling me a different story as well about a bus driver who was shot in the face. He is recovering, seemingly. Is there any counselling provided for bus drivers? Absolutely. We have an in-house social worker who's available to all staff members who have any need for kind of emotional support or counselling or advice to seek help outside. All right. And just briefly, let's talk about Nyanga because that's where the area has been problematic for Golden Arrow where the number of uh, buses were uh, attacked. We, we've seen uh, quite a number of them uh, gutted. Uh, in terms of Nyanga, we've seen buses not going to the actual uh, uh, bus terminus. Uh, why is that? Is, uh, but are buses safer now in Nyanga uh, in comparison to previous weeks? I think Nyanga is a very big area of concern and I think the authorities are going to need to take note going forward. It has been for a while. So for for quite some time, our passengers had to actually walk out to the N2 to Borchard's Quarry because we couldn't operate anywhere in Nyanga. As of last week, Friday, we're back at the police station, but we're still not in the terminus. And I think this is going to really need a sustained focus from the authorities.